Welcome back to Clary Studios, and today we're trying out this Vaughn Water Reverse Osmosis Water Filter System. Uh, if you're in the market for a water filtration system, this is definitely going to be something uh, you want to look at. This is a countertop, no insulation required, and a fraction of the price compared to installed units. Such as this Pure Flow unit, which I have under the sink, uh, which is con in conjunction with our whole house filtering system comes directly to the sink here as filtered water and also uh, the tankless, or excuse me, the tanks that are in installed inside the garage, which is this big guy right here. And this is a filtered system to the entire house. No matter what fossil we use in the house, uh, this filters every single um, pipe of water through the house. And the one for, uh, that I'm showing at the sink is just for that one specific spot for pure drinking water. So again, if you're in the market for a water purifying system, you can spend thousands of dollars like I did for the uh, home installed home feature under the sink and the big tanks that I have in the garage. Or if you're more of on a budget or uh, you don't own the property where you live and you just still wanna have some sort of purified drinking water, well, this is your option here. It's, it's perfect for just being on the countertop with the rest of your appliances and it's gonna give you the same thing uh, for a very uh, fraction of the price. So let's get it open, see what it looks like, and test it out. And the package did come very well uh, packaged, very insulated, very protected, uh, which is great. Comes uh, with all this padding around it. And uh, as always, um, I will put a link down below if you're interested in purchasing one of these or wanna know what the prices are. Uh, they are available on Amazon. I will leave my link to my Amazon affiliate uh, account down there and you can just click on that and you can check the current pricing for these. They go anywhere from uh, 280 to a little over three to four hundred dollars. Uh, so definitely on the not a cheap side but again you're not spending thousands of dollars for an installed version in your home. Now I am no expert on water filtration systems. I only do reviews here so uh, definitely going to read the owner's manual that it comes with. Also, uh, you can sign up for a warranty on it. Uh, so I'm going to read through this real quick just to see uh, what I need to know as far as just the basic uh, functionality and installation, and I'll share that with you guys as well. And it does say also that they test this before it leaves the factory. So they said uh, the, your unit could actually have a little bit of water in it, which I find kind of interesting. I don't know if that was a thing. Uh, but then again, I'm not an expert on these. Uh, water filtration systems anyway so if you find a little bit of water when you unpack yours they say that is normal and it will say that in instructions if you read the instructions so we're just going to continue getting all this uh packaging off and we'll get it going all right as i was removing all those stickers the one that was right here i peeled in and left this residue there which is a little annoying so anyways uh not a big deal but i'm just gonna clean that up and move on Yes, now we're going to go through the instructions on how to operate this thing. And first it says you have to flush the system at least three good times. And also it explains the, the um, water filtration system, explains the filter that's inside and how to uh, replace it. Now, if you don't want to hold on to the manual and forget how to do it, well, don't worry. There is a sticker right here that has those instructions. As long as you leave that there, which I will do for mine, uh, you just kind of read that through to give you a general idea of what you need to do in case you forget. So before I flush the unit and get it going, I'm gonna check the filter area first to make sure there's no plastic on the filter or anything like that. So to, re to remove the filter, you have to remove this top portion, this little middle section here. Just put both hands uh, on each side of the unit, kind of just push up on that top portion like that. The lid comes off and that will reveal the filter. To remove the filter, you just lift up on this handle and get a little tug and pulls it up and here is the filter. It's a massive filter. It's actually bigger than the filter I use in my refrigerator. To put it back in, just want to put it right back in like that. There's little grooves right here on the side. Make sure the grooves line up. And then just give it a little good push and you'll hear it click. And you'll know you're good to go. Put the, put the top back on. And then there's also some um, instructions on how to reset the filter settings so that way um, the red light will go away once you have the new one installed. Now before we get the unit going, we like I said, have to re we have to flush the system three times, three cycles, and also you need to clean uh, the uh, water pitcher that it comes with. So you know, pour water, um, and also you need to clean the um, 
the water tank. So we're gonna remove both of these, wash them thoroughly with uh, soap and water, let them dry out really good, and then place them back onto. Now to remove the water tank, yeah, you can just kind of grab it and pick up like that. However, um, uh, to prevent any kind of spills, and also this gets heavy when it's full, um, you don't wanna go past the max line, by the way. Uh, so when the water gets up to about right here, it's gonna be a little heavy, you know, it's gonna have some good weight to it. So one feature that's pretty cool is you just kind of take this top lid off first and it has a little handle. Take the handle and it just makes it much more easier and convenient. So again, we're gonna get this all cleaned up nice and pretty. So it's uh, sterile and we're gonna fill it up with water and get it flushed. Okay, so I followed all the setup guides. So now it's saying all that's left to do is uh, plug it in and it will automatically go into a flush mode for its very first time you plug it in. So let's see what happens when I plug it in. Okay, so we got our displays opening. Yep, it's doing something. Now it says I have a large container to collect water. So I'm assuming it's gonna come out of here it's not going to come into the to the water holder so let's see what happens i hear i hear some some movement on the inside so it says a purifier and dispenser will automatically enter flushing mode place a larger container to collect the water so i may have to change that glass out with another glass because i know that glass will not hold all the water from the uh, water tank in the back. Okay, so it is actually filling up here inside the water container. So what, it didn't get clear instructions. It didn't say where the water was going to dispense to. Um, as you can see, it's, depends, it's uh, dispensing up. It's not pouring into the glass. It's coming from below, which is pretty cool. Uh, so anyways, I'm still gonna keep this glass here just in case it does uh, flush out through here as well. <laughs> like I said, the instructions didn't say clearly um, where the water was going to flush out of, but right now I can see it's coming through the tank uh, into the water holder. So we're going to have to take this pitcher out most likely and dump it. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen when it gets full, if it's going to stop on its own or if I'm going to have a mess on my hands. So it just made some sort of noise and it stopped. So, uh, like I said, there's really no clear inst instructions on what to do here. So I'm just going to try and remove it and see what happens. It has stopped filling, as you can see. The machine stopped working. I hear the motor stop. So I'm going to take this out. I give that water to some of my plants outside. Let me plug it back in here, see what happens. Oh yeah, it automatically started filling up again. So I didn't have to do nothing. So I'm assuming the tank's just going to do this continuously until it's empty. And we'll have to do this process three times. So, which shouldn't take too long. I mean, we're already you know, started about right here. It's already right here just off of one water pitcher fill. So maybe three water pitchers or so else, I would say maybe three we'll see what happens as far as noise levels go i mean it's what i would expect it's not super quiet there's a little bit of a hum kind of like the ice maker um, but yeah i mean not annoying not a deal breaker okay so i'm on my third fill up and it stops just under the halfway mark uh, and i don't know why there's still plenty of water inside the tank in the back so I'm just gonna see what happens if I put it back on. Okay, it's not filling up. Okay, so according to the instructions, uh, this indicating light right here is saying that the water tank is low. And um, it's talking about this, but as you can see, it's it's not that low. I mean, this is this was the full mark up here, and it's only gone down to there. So I mean, there's still a lot of water in there. But it's saying that's what the, that's why we've stopped. That's why we can't do nothing is because it's saying 
uh, needs to be refilled. That's what that indicator light means. Uh, so one thing I noticed too, as I was gonna go remove the tank to get it filled back up again, is uh, positioning this thing is very important. Like where do you wanna have it in your house? Like where on the countertop do you want it? Uh, especially because of this tank, when you deli have to lift it up, you have to clear this entire unit with the tank as I'll show you in a second. So the way I have it right now, it's right under my cabinets here. So I couldn't lift it without hitting the cabinet. That means I have to move this out just to take it out, which is a little inconvenient because this, this is the way my, my kitchen is set up. Um, the countertops and the uh, cupboards run the entire length of the kitchen. So um, I'd have to, every time I want to refill the water in the back, I have to move the unit out. Not a deal breaker, not a big deal, but just, you know, keep that in mind when you're looking at this unit. And when it's flashing like that, that means uh, either your water pitcher or the uh, tank is not properly seated or mounted. All right, looks like we're back in business. I have it plugged back in. Uh, the water pitcher is now to the max line. It's properly seated, everything's good to go. And we are filling up the water. So uh, I'm gonna call that one and a half. So. Uh, we're going to fast forward now. I'm going to do this process three times, like what the instructions say, um, and then we'll get into uh, the other functions of the unit. Okay, so just a few other things to note here. Um, you can um, automatically dispense from here as well by pushing this button. We'll get into that. Uh, but this indicator here, that's your filter. So um, I mean, that's, that'll flash in three different stages. Um, so if it just stays white like it is right now, that means the filter is good. If it starts flashing red, it means the filter is going to expire soon. So that's when you want to order one uh, through the Vaughn Water website um, and get that coming to you quickly because once it's a solid red and it stays red, that means the filter needs to be replaced. This water indicator is just saying that water is being dispensed, which it is right now. Um, it's, we're still going through the cleaning process. A few other uh, specification I'd like to mention here is this uh, water in the back here, this container, this reservoir here, where you put the tap water, uh, that's about one, just under a gallon and a half. It's exactly 1.45 gallons or 5.5 liters. Um, and then the, this uh, pure water uh, container here, uh, that's 0.31 gallons or 1.2 liters. Uh, the filter that's in here says it can go 528 gallons before it needs to be replaced, which is a pretty healthy number. Again, you don't want to put any water in here that's under 41 degrees or over 100 degrees. So we've gone through three cycles, as the instruction said. So I've filled it up for the fourth time. So now we have the most cleanest water, I guess, possible. Uh, we have the filtered water here. So we're gonna just remove this here, as you can see. Sometimes it leaves a little water, this time it didn't, which is great. Uh, we're gonna put this in the fridge now so this can get cold, and then we're going to go through some of the other features here on the unit. All right, so let's put that right in there so it can get nice and cold and chilled, and we'll come back to that in a few hours and try that water with some lemon. I like lemon in my water. All right, so using the unit right here at the source itself, you do have to have the water jug uh, attached here. So um, you can fill it up and put it in the fridge like I just did and get some nice, cool, refreshing water. Or you can just leave it attached here and uh, it will take the water from here and pour it into a glass for you. Uh, if you wanna get an upgraded unit, which is the CT910H, I believe, um, you'll see that when you click on the link below the different units they have. This one is uh, just room temperature water or cold water if you put this in the fridge. The upgraded unit has features to give you hot water as well. So if you want to make tea or if you need hot water for anything. Uh, so using the unit here, um, there's four different uh, levels of water you can choose. You have your five ounce. You could choose 10 ounce just by pushing the button there, 17 ounce and also 25 ounce. Now you do is push this button and it would fill that amount of water. Since we're using a small glass here, I'm going to go ahead and go back to five ounces. Just push the water button here one time and it'll dispense exactly five ounces for you and it'll count for you one to five or 10 or 17 or 25 whatever you had selected and it will automatically stop at exactly that ounce 
So there you go, gave me exactly five ounces. So now I can use those five ounces. So if I'm measuring for food, for example, that's one way to do it. Or if I just want to measure for whatever purpose, that's how you do it there. Now, if you don't want to have a specific amount and you just want to fill it up, what you can do is just push and hold the water button and it'll change to full dispense. To stop dispensing, just push the button again and it will stop. And in this mode, if I, oh, I need a little bit more water, and just push it again. And again, when that's enough water for me, I'll push stop again. So I'll push stop. Okay, and you can do that up to 399 ounces. If you had a, a cup that'll fit there, that will hold that much. Um, so that's the functionality of that. And then also, if you want to go back to exact measurements, you just push the five ounce again, or 10 ounce, wherever you want to go. And it takes you right back to that mode. Um, this TDS up here, again, in the upper models, as I mentioned before, if you want to um, get that model, it does give you hot water. This would be your temperature display uh, system. This right here, though, is not temperature. This is our TDS stands for total dissolved solids. So that's telling you how many particles it's taking. Uh, not how many particles, but it's telling you that it's cleaning the water um, and it's telling you how, how much it's cleaning. So low numbers are good, right? So the higher the number, uh, the more it's uh, letting... Uh, those uh, total dissolved um, particles back into the water. So a low number is always good. And there's actually in the user's manual, there is a, uh, a guide on that, the TDS levels in the water. Um, so zero to 50, actually to 100 is actually pretty good as you can see. Um, once you can start getting into the upper hundreds to the low 200s, it's fair. And of course it gets worse from there. Um, so definitely low numbers here is great as this gets higher numbers. Well, that probably means the filter needs to be changed because the filter is keeping it low. So let's try some of this water and see if it tastes like it's filtered or not. And just to compare, I'm going to take some of my filtered drinking water here and compare it to that one. All right, so this is straight from my thousands of dollars worth of equipment to purify the water in my house. And this is the one I just bought. So as you can see, they are pretty similar in looks. Uh, but let's test them and see what happens. Okay, so this is the water straight from my sink, as you saw, is through my um, home installed water system, which tastes great, tastes just like drinking water, um, has no tap water taste to it at all. So here's the real test now with the Vaughn water to see how it tastes, if it's any different. Ugh, I'm just kidding. No, that was great. Try the other one again. Mm. So to be completely honest, I could taste no difference in that water. Um, I almost want to say that tastes maybe just slightly better, actually, maybe because it's a newer system. Maybe my filters need to be changed for my house filters, which they do also need to be changed. Um, they're just a little bit more expensive and they're larger compared to a, a, a countertop unit like this, which is really the whole point of this is really, you know, what do you want to spend on a filtration system? You can do a Brita straight to your sink, your faucet and put that in the fridge. That works totally fine too. If you want something even better and, and more healthy, well, this is definitely a good option, you know, two to $400 versus thousands of dollars. Um, or do you want to do a Brita, which I don't know what a Brita costs, you know, is that maybe... 50, 60 bucks, I have no idea what they cost, uh, but there you go. Um, I think this is great for what it is. It's a, it's a definitely a more cost-effective option than spending thousands of dollars. Again, if you don't own your own home, or if you're in an apartment, or if you just don't wanna spend that kind of money on a filtration system, this is definitely a great um, substitute, and I would definitely check them out if you're in the market for a water filtration system. Thanks as always for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next review.